hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to wrap a towel on your bag so i already have a video on my channel that shows you how to wrap a baby on your back and yes this is the same baby that was in that video so now he's all grown and he's two years old now and i'm just going to show you guys how to wrap a toddler i know a few people have been like asking me and having like problems with um wrapping their babies on their back and i see that you guys really like that other video very much so i think i thought i should just show you guys how to do older kids since i already did babies or younger kids so first of all you will want to have a wrapper a lapa if you don't have like a lapa you can find any any like thin but wide fabric like this if you have a blanket or like a sheet like a fitting sheet stuff like something like that like any type of very thin sheet that you have or blanket that you have that's not too thick or that's not going to put too much heat on the baby or the child you could use that so it could be it should be like this and it should be like big enough to wrap around you and the child so he sees the lapa now now he wants to come on my back so first of all you will want to take the lapa wrap it around you make sure both sides are even Pull it up a little bit so it's not too long in the back. Put it and then you put it between your legs. <laughs> you put it between your legs like this. Okay? And then, come on. You take your baby. Yes. Look at my baby now. He's all grown up. Say hi. Say hi. When you take your baby, you put him on your hips like this. It's basically like the same thing as putting the baby on your back you put the baby on your shoulder on your hip make sure they're up grab onto this leg now this other leg push it to the back just like this and then you take the hand this is so you like secure them and not make sure they're not moving you get like move your hand and then just like that. For kids that are used to it, they already know what to do, but if your kids are not used to it, just try to guide them to lay on your back like this. Stay leaning forward like this, so this way you're holding them up at the same time. So you take their arms, put it under your armpit, put your armpit down, Not don't squeeze the baby hand now, like, and if you have long hair, I suggest you put your hair up so it's not in the baby's face. So you put that baby arm under your armpit, their legs, you bring them up a little bit. Then you open your legs and release the lapa. Bring it up. If the child is still awake, you will want to leave their arms out. So like that so you want to put the big the lapa right on their back just like that and then you want to put the lapa underneath their arm and we come closer so you hold it like this make sure they're both even in the front and then usually with a baby i'll tell you to just go like this and then you wrap the bottom. But because this is a toddler and he's a little bit heavier, you'll need more support. So you wanna take both sides like this, wrap it around, just like this, and then tuck it. Like this, the baby is more secure. So you know, I can even stand and he's good so you take the bottom and you do the same thing so the bottom it will be like this you'll take it you'll roll it up like this and then you'll jump when you jump this will cause the baby to bounce a little bit and then you'll pull the bottom part underneath the child so you hold it wrap it and then jump 
as you're jumping you're pulling the thing the lapa under you also so you take it some people wrap the baby's foot inside of it i just feel like i don't i don't like doing that because i want them to have like air go in there so i leave their legs out like this and then i take it do the same thing you could tie it this this part you could tie if you want even the top part you could tie it if you want but i just feel like it's still a little bit loose because if i'm walking around i feel like I feel like he could like I don't know. I just don't, I don't feel safe with the tie, so I like to do the same thing I did to the top. Wrap it around, and then you just tuck it underneath, just like this. And this method, like with the wrapping around first, it helps even if you don't have boobs. To hold the to hold it up because so this is it. If they're coming down too much, you could push them up and retie it. So this is it. Now you just leave the baby on your back. At this point, you could release it. You could stand straight. You could lean back. I usually sit down and whatever I'm doing, I I'll go ahead and do whatever I have to do. Go to the market, go to the store. I don't know, but you can't really drive with the baby on your back. So, yeah, when I have visitors and he's like fussy and he's trying, he needs my, he wants my attention, but I cannot give it to him at that moment. So I just put him on my back. And this helps them fall asleep really, really fast. He just, just woke up like, a few minutes ago so he's not gonna fall asleep anytime soon so i'm not gonna show you guys him falling asleep or him asleep so i'm just gonna show you how to tuck their hands in when once they do fall asleep and you want to do that once they fall asleep not i'm not saying like um to keep them on your back the whole time but as soon as they fall asleep you know how when like the baby falls asleep and you go lay them down they wake up because they're not in the deep sleep so as soon as they fall asleep you realize they fall asleep you'll know when they fall asleep because their whole body will just like drop like their body weight will drop and you'll feel it and you even as you're walking his neck is going to be like really loose and stuff so you realize that and then you will tuck their hands in and put the lapa up to their neck not to like not to the point of choking them but like up to i'll show you but up to their neck and that way like their hands their body everything is is like it stay still and it won't harm the baby so when you want to do that it will work better it once they fall one day once they are asleep but when they are awake it will be a little tough so you will need to like have somebody stand him he's so used to this he just does whatever he wants back there so if you're not if you don't feel safe doing it by yourself you could also have somebody stand behind you and um hold the baby while you're doing the putting their arms in and all that other stuff just to be on the safe side or sometimes if you don't really trust yourself you can go like you can go in the bedroom and stand next to the bed just in case they fall they will fall like on the bed so that's the two options i have but once they are asleep, you will lean forward again, untie this, just pull these thing, these two from the side, um, untie it. You don't need to untie the bottom part, but then you will see like he's still secure. But if you if you don't feel comfortable, you could also have somebody behind you, and then you pull the the lap out over their arm, take the other arm. Put it on your armpit. You pull it, push them up, and then you tie it back up. So one, two. 
you could tuck it under or you could push it inside to the top. It doesn't matter. It still does the same job. So see, you know, at this point, you don't have too much freedom to do anything. This is why you only do this once he is asleep. See, and he's like, he stays up. So yeah, guys, this is how you securely tie a toddler on your back. Let me show you guys the front. Let me show you how to tie it close up. So you'll take it. You don't want to tie it too tight. I think you you will know if it's too tight because you will feel uncomfortable as well. So you tie it like this. Hold it like with your yeah. Or you can push it to the top. You know, he can't really move too much. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Mm, he don't like it. So, yeah. Okay. See, but once they are awake, you want to keep their hands out. So this way, they can still play around a little bit. Oh, so yeah. And to remove them, you just do the same thing. This part, I highly recommend that you have somebody help you with this part, taking them off your back because once you release these, they'll drop, especially if they're sleeping, they'll drop. So you have somebody behind your back. If you're not experienced, but I am experienced, so I'm, I don't really need anybody behind my back anymore. So, okay. So this is how you take them off your back when they're sleeping and when they are like, they, they, they're awake and they just, they're just giving you like a hard time still, so. You lean forward and tie the top first. Put it under your armpit, let it stay there. And then you'll untie the bottom. And then you'll hold him. Push him to the side a little bit. Grab him. Just like that. And then you lay them down just like that okay thank you guys so much for watching please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye say bye bye